इंस्टीट्यूट मिस्टर शिवस जयपुरिया श्री अजय गोयल जी महेश जयपुरिया सहगल जी गुड फ्रेंड सहगल जी कमल सिंह जी डायरेक्टर जनरल एन एच आर डी डायरेक्टर ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट डॉक्टर राजीव ठाकुर डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ जयपुरिया कैंपसेस एडवर्टाइज फैकल्टी मेंबर्स graduating students and proud parents their guardians <coughs> friends from media good afternoon to everyone it is my honor and privilege to extend heartiest greetings and warm welcome on behalf of the board of governors to a very dear friend dr lalit panwar ji on the ninth convocation Day of Jaipur Institute of Mining Men, Noida. You also extend our heartfelt thanks to Honorable Minister Dr. Mahesh Sharma ji for accepting our kind invitation to be the chief guest for the function. Though because of his last-minute engagement, he had to travel to Odisha to launch a nationwide scheme, he could not be present here today. We feel honored and privileged to receive his blessing and message for the students on this auspicious occasion. Dr. Panwar is an IAS officer of 1979 batch of Rajasthan cadre and carries with him an illustrious career in Indian civil services for more than three decades. Dr. Panwar did his graduation and post-graduation science stream and has a doctorate in tourism. His special interest in tourism is also reflected in his contributions in his various capacities towards the growth of tourism in India. He has successfully served as CMD of ITDC and is credited to have turned around. Loss making ITDC into a profit making organization. His earlier assignments in sector at CMD, <coughs> ITDC Director, Tourism Government of Rajasthan, Secretary Tourism Government of Rajasthan, is replete with success stories. Palace on Bees, Heritage Hotels of Rajasthan, Eco Tourism, and Camp Tourism in Rajasthan Deserts. Camel and Desert Safari, Cafe Fair, <coughs> and launch of other cultural festivals like Pushkar as tourism product, to name a few, are his major initiatives and achievements in this area. As far as his professional, academic, and research interest, he has developed a few areas of specialization, such as ecotourism which earned him his phd of the various books and policy papers that he's authored his co-authored book on palace on bees with robert huber policy paper on rural tourism written for ids university of sussex and british council fellow are significant ones he has been a visiting faculty in one of the leading universities in Netherlands, besides National Academy of Administration, Masuri, and many other institutions in the country. The many awards that he has won, Pride of His Hospitality Industry Award by the Journalist Association of India, National Hospitality Education Award by the Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, brought him special laurels. We are indeed very grateful to have you with us today, Galiji, progressing this occasion with your kind <coughs> presence and look forward for your address. Dear graduating students, today is a landmark day for all of us as your perseverance and hard work have blossomed and fructified and you have marched into a new arena of your lives 
where you would be required to apply and implement all your learnings that you have acquired during the two year management education in the business world. I congratulate you <coughs> on your achievements. I also congratulate your parents, guardians and teachers for the continued support to you in your efforts. I believe it is also my duty to bring to light the contribution of the Jaipuria group has made in the field of quality education. Jaipuria group began a successful educational journey by establishing said Anandaram College in Calcutta in the year 1945, which was inaugurated by our first Prime Minister, late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. This followed by opening of said MR Jaipuria School in Lucknow in the year 1992. Since then and today, Jaipuria Group has set up form admin institute in Lucknow, Noida, Jaipur and Indore with a student strength of 1500 and faculty strength of over 95 with over 55 visiting faculty. Very recently, we have also been instrumental in opening several branches of said MR Jaipuria School Lucknow across different cities in India. At Jaipuria, we do not merely educate, we empower. That's exactly why our ethos is built around the student, the individual who yearns for knowledge. The curriculum and pedagogy at Jaipuria makes the student a partner, an active participant in the teaching learning <coughs> process. I am deeply impressed by the sustained academic environment of the Noida campus and applaud the efforts made by the faculty, staff and the students. This excellence has once again been recognized and Jaipuria Noida has been recently been ranked 32nd in India by National HRD Network Rankings. Dear graduating students, as you step out today, you are the threshold of very powerful India, unlike the India of yesterday. It is the India which the world expects to address global issues of economics. India's words in major multilateral deliberations are given due importance and weightage. You have to continue to do your bit in upholding of legacy of strong and vibrant India. I am sure you have gone through a process of transformation at Jaipuria Noida and this process of change involved development of character building, personality development, insight building, knowledge building and skill building. The remarkable Helen Keller said, and I quote, that character cannot be developed with ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the souls be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Thus, my advice of <coughs> to all of you is to work honestly, efficiently, and diligently in your work environment to enhance the productivity and performance of your organization. This will help benefiting all stakeholders of Indian economy. Performance leads to recognition, recognition leads to respect, and respect leads to power. Thus, my dear graduating students, my advice to you is to perform exceptionally well at your workplace. This will not only help you to rise in the ladder of success, but will also make your parents, your, your teachers, your institute proud of you. Dear students, in your workplace, you will very often have to face criticism. Remember that your critic is your best friend because he or she encourages you to explain your point of view rationally with data and facts and or improve your performance. On the other hand, psychophants make you complicit. Therefore, respect constructive criticism. If your critics have better solution to the problem 
improve your learning by accepting their point of view. Finally, you must always adopt a happy temperament in your work and family environment because a happy <coughs> mind is very infectious and spreads very fast. Happy mind is also stress-free and helps you perform better and through its infectious nature, help other people around you perform better too and we can come, come back to a full circle, better performance, successful organization, proud fraternity and prosperous India. In conclusion, I would therefore request you the following. Number one, enjoy life but make a clear goal of your life by asking yourself what you are going to get of this goal, what your family is going to get, and what the society is going to get. That means answering the question, how are your goal of life going to make a positive change to the country? Second, develop knowledge by personal reading, and also develop the needed insight by reading the life stories of great Indian. Third, Develop your personality and character by having positive and good <coughs> company. Four, develop as many skills as you can. And finally, learn how to influence others through your good behavior, positive manners, good attitude, and soft, provocative communication. The great leadership guru John Maxwell said that the pessimistic complains about the wind, the optimist expects it to change, the leader adjusts the sails. I am confident, my dear students, that as you move forward, you shall emerge as future leaders who would adjust the sail in all walks of life and make Jaipuria Institute truly proud of you. May God bless you. Thank you. Jai Hind.